Hello literature lovers today i am explaining literary criticism this is just an overall perspective since it's a really wide topic and difficult to explain things from all the perspectives and although the presentation is here you can understand by this overall phenomena and what literary criticism is and uh, formalist criticism that's the elements and dependency on it talking about the biographical criticism that is also important and the notes are given here with pictures and another topic related to it can be literary historians that's part of historical criticism which was later on developed into new historicism that is also quite important and another theory that evolved after that you can see the picture is of the fish eating shows how these things happen how marxist criticism later on killed almost killed historical criticism another type of criticism that you can take advantage of is cultural criticism and since culture in different countries are different and and that's the theory related to post colonial criticism since the colonies by british changed the culture of their con- various countries they colonized and that's why cultural criticism is also related to post colonial criticism and talking about the psychological criticism that was really changed by sigmund freud and because of his theories you can see the picture of mr freud and how he researched and how his book changed the whole thinking process of people and because of that and few of the very important perspectives related to it were oedipus complex electra complex all of them both of them are really important in this context and other point of view will also be emphasized because started to think about the conscious mind and unconscious mind how feelings are evolved how we decide how our decisions are affected by it and later on how our intellect and our personality that is composed of three parts it ego and super ego and how we can really comprehend it understand it and these are the three things and the picture is quite expressive as you can see we can get an overall perspective how and why these change with times and we how we manage to balance the mind or how we can get the peace point of view that is also important when talking about gender criticism that is also related to it masculine and feminine criticism is part of it and later on also included the homosexuality that is gay and lesbian criticism later on we can discuss about the mythological criticism it's obviously as the name suggests related to myths and later on we can talk about the archetypes that is the symbols that evolved so symbolic things are really pointing towards it and you can read it all uh, we can be done and later on we can talk about the reader response criticism how i am portraying things towards you and how are you reading it so that's two different things sometimes and different things have different responses related to it you can understand it quite clearly then talking about the deconstruction process this type of criticism is very popular 
and since it scatters things it's quite explanatory now i can summarize by saying that it's your turn your time you can understand it and ask and discuss with others thanks